We're all set for the 99 edition of the SEC championship. A sold out Georgia Dome already rocking. Florida won the toss. They'll get the football first. Bearden's got it teed up. And Bo Carroll and John Capel right on the other end, and we're underway in Atlanta. Bo Carroll draws a bead from the eight yard line. Finds himself an opening. He's got unbelievable speed, and he's out to the 44 yard line. That's the way you want to start a game. And on the ground they go. Not too much. Helmet came loose. Ball came loose. Penalty marker on the play. Alabama's got the football. But again, there's a penalty marker down. I have to guess, since the helmet came off, that might be a face mask that pulled the helmet out of there. The ball carrier was down. The ball was dead. The helmet came off. We have a personal foul. Face mask. Here. A little bit after them. The helmet came off. The face mask, the personal foul, and the runner was down, he says. Palmer, play action. Fires a deep out. Got his man. Broken tackle by Daryl Jackson down the sideline. All the way to the six. First and goal, Florida. Two tight end set. They'll toss it to Graham. The option to the end zone. Touchdown. Aaron Kinney, the tight end. Here's a toss to Alexander. Deep dropped in his own backfield by Andre Davis. From the gun for Palmer. Here comes the heat. He got rid of it down the middle. Tipped and intercepted. Picked off by Spencer. Coming the other way. Spencer picks up a convoy and picks up an interception return to the 37-yard line. We knew we'd see two quarterbacks. I didn't know if we'd see them this early. Yeah. Millens in motion. Watts from the gun. Got a man open across the middle. Close to a first down is Jason McAdley. He came into the Auburn game and kind of bailed him out of that one. He's probably played better than Zao the last four games. Here he is on the give to Alexander. And finally, Sean's got some room to work. Got it to the floor to 45. Second down and three. Here's the toss to him the other way. Cuts it up, carries a would-be tackler with him very close to the first down. Looks like he's about a foot short. McClintock's the lead man. He gets the call, and he gets the first down as well. And the fullback still taking Gators with him inside the 40. Wideouts all over the place. Watts quickly throws. Intercepted on the tip ball and going the other way is Daryl Dixon. And Dixon's got it all the way to the 40-yard line. There goes the Alabama drive. Palmer wings it out. Jackson makes the catch, but he goes down after a gain of only three. There's 6-14 remaining in the first quarter. High kick. Heading for the far side, and what a job by the special teams the penalty work Benny Alexander went down there and nabbed it out of midair inside the five again Alabama will be buried here's the toss Alexander broke a tackle cuts outside first down run and he's out to the 18 yard line best run so far for Sean Alexander 10 yards Zao has a little trouble with the center snap gets the pass out though complete open field Antonio Carter Carter on his way across midfield he might have a touchdown he's going to be brought down at the 25 yard line Benny Alexander stayed with it Zao from the gun has some time scans the field had it tipped and almost picked off somebody got a hand on it in the middle might have been Okendo Johnson the linebacker who was coming Ryan Flugner will try a 42-yard field goal, and he missed that one badly. He didn't play the first time around due to an injury, and that one never had a chance. SEC Championship game, Florida leads. Here they come. Here they come on a blitz, and it pays off. Oh, did you see that? Wow. Almost took the hand off that time, Darius Gilbert did. Palmer rifles it out, completes to Travis Taylor. Taylor trying to weave through traffic. But he only got back to about the 28-yard line, and Florida's going to have to kick it. From the 27, the toss to Sean Alexander. Found himself a little avenue, and he's got about eight more yards as the first quarter comes to a close. Florida took the opening drive down for a score. Alabama on second and short. 
Goes to their bread and butter, and Sean Alexander's in the clear across midfield and down to the 44-yard line. Four wideouts, and it's Millens again at the quarterback and the quarterback draw. No single wing with Freddie Millens here. Normally a wide receiver, Freddie Millens, a high school quarterback, has gotten big play written all over him. That's pretty interesting this week. Everybody asking Mike DuBose who's going to start a quarterback. And he said a couple of times, how about Freddie Millens? Well, he's played him twice now at right. that position. He's started three different guys at quarterback. First down just inside the Florida 31. It's Millens now and an end around, and he found himself an opening. Freddie Millens on the run. He's dynamite. Down to the eight-yard line. We're going to see a throw from the six. Watch his hip. Down he goes. Alex Brown made the first hit. Gerard Warren cleaned up. Flugner missed badly in his first kick attempt. This is a 29-yard field goal. And this one's right down Peachtree. Told you got the nerves out. <laughs> Homer, three out of five, 43 yards and an interception. He's back to put it up again, and this one's a strike. Out to the 36-yard line, complete to Travis Taylor. First down, Florida. And Graham got a nice block. And Graham trying to break free. He's got 13 yards or close to it in the first down. Third and 10, third and 14, third, a lot of third and longs. Here comes the heat on it. Down he goes, and he almost lost the football to boot. Jarrett Johnson with a sack. Zao's in there at quarterback. This time they'll keep it on the ground instead. Alexander in trouble in his own backfield. Down he goes, and it's Thaddeus Bullard. And he's a slot man. Here comes a blitz. Zao pumps once, trying to get it to Millens. Flags down. Oh, boy, Ooh. and it's Bullard. Oh, and he probably wished that he hadn't <laughs> thrown it to him. <laughs> I guess the offense... The penalty is half the distance to the goal. Still second down. Third down and 17. Zao trying to hang in and finally did get his tight end Jones on a crossing pattern. And Terry got his head down and got a first down. Shifts over to the left side. It's the toss to behind it. And he's got a blocker in front. Broke a tackle. And he's got a first down. From one Sean to another. Zao on a drop back this time. Fires high intended for Millens. And a penalty marker flies in at the end of the play from the secondary. It is a holding on the defense. I knew you'd <laughs> recognize something like that. Zao going to go deep this time. Incomplete. And Gator fans holding their breath. Alabama fans looking for a flag. Didn't get one. Cromarty on the coverage of McAdley. Only 5.39 left in the first half. Morgan hangs up. A high one goes out of bounds at about the two-yard line. Oh, great, great kick. kick. Uh, to go out and play for the play, that'd be a great deal. How does that affect your attitude when you're out there? Um, well, I think uh, just confidence and rhythm. You know, you want to get in there. Alan Ryan backed up right under his own post. He's had one block this year. Looks like Alabama's got the return set up for Millens, though. Although they are shifting around on the foot. Well, they got a little heat on him. End over end kick. Millens going to wait for a bounce, and the bounce is in Alabama's favor. They're going to have great starting field position at the 36 yard line. Play action, bootleg. Watts wants to throw back. Now sets and fires. Got Alexander out there. And almost intercepted. Nice job. Yeah, nice job. Here comes the pressure on Watts. He's in trouble in the pocket. Runs out of it. And got to about the 32-yard line. Missed earlier from 42. He'll try from 48 here from the near hash mark. Trying to make it a one-point game. Kick on the way. Got plenty of legs. He's got it. He's got it. He got that bad one out of the way. Boy, didn't he? Said. And now he's on a roll. All right, guys. Thank you. And Terry, you're right. Florida's been shut down by this Alabama defense since that opening touchdown. And they almost got an interception there. Milo Lewis diving in front of Daryl Jackson. Almost had him one. You see there, held without a first down. Four of the six times they've had the ball. 
Palmer back to throw again. Gonna throw the same type of pass. This one is intercepted. Picked off by Lewis. From the 36, Alabama, great field position. Zhao on the bootlegs. Got his fullback. McClintock. McClintock down the sideline near the 20. Zhao from the shotgun. Plenty of time. Throws across the middle. Flags are down. McAdley's down to a first and goal, but let's see if it's a holding call. It is. Steps up in the pocket to the end zone. Flag down, touchdown. McAdley in front of Cromarty. And Alabama's in the end zone. Sam Collins in motion. Zao goes to Collins. I think he's a little short. Didn't quite make it. Just yep. about a foot shy. Nice yep. job by the defense. John and Terry will be long in about 26 seconds as well. That's what we've got remaining in the second quarter. First down. Florida will keep it on the ground. Graham. That across the 20 out to about the 21. They're not going to try anything fancy here apparently. Head to the locker room. Trailing by five is the way it's going to look. Yeah, let's go talk about it. I think, you know, how often do you see him in that kind of a mood right yep. there? So they head off. They got the first points early. First couple minutes of the ball game. It was 7-0 Florida after a nice kick return to open the game. But Alabama has come back. Got two field goals and a touchdown. And Steve Spurrier's with Lynn Swan. Watts. Going to throw it to him. Put on a nice move. And he's... Exciting. Yep. Out to the 31. Millens is the third snap. He's taking a quarterback. He's going to throw it. Got it out to Carter. Carter with some blockers out there. He got across the 39-yard line, but he's about four or five yards short of the first down. Doug Johnson in at quarterback. They're going to give it on an end around. John Capel, the fastest guy on the team, but all that speed in the world doesn't help much when you got three crimson jerseys draped all over you. And for Zao from the gun. Here comes a Gator Blitz. Now throws complete. It'll be a first down or very close to Tim Bowens. And it's Millens at quarterback again. Fourth snap for him. There he goes. Just going to take off with it. He said that turned him around. It brought him together. And then the big victory at Florida. Millens shot it end around. Out to the sideline. I don't think he got the first down. Fourth down. Remember they had a fourth down. When they handed it to Sean Alexander, he scored a touchdown in the first game this year with these guys. This time, all they're asking him to do is get a first down, and he might have it. It's going to be awfully close. The officials see it. Ooh, he got it by just the front of that stick. They're going to keep it on the ground to Alexander, and he bursts into the middle, and he might have another first down. They'll toss it to Alexander. Broke a tackle. Got down to the 20. Zao's just going to toss it out there to Carter and see what he can do. He's got a first down and more. Penalty marker, though. One of these wide receivers down here was holding. Third down and 13. Zao, pump fakes, wanted to go deep, hit from behind. The ball is loose. Alabama covered it, but that's the first time they've been able to put the leather to Zao, and it was Anthony Mitchell. This one will be a 49-yard attempt. Did he get enough of it? You bet he did. Here, not much spirit for the Florida offense unless they get something happening. Palmer, going to go deep. Got a man out there, Daryl Jackson, and it's knocked away by Lewis at the very last moment. Yeah. That would have been a touchdown. Second down and 10. Palmer sidearms it. That's the one he almost had picked off by Lewis, and he got his hands on that one. Now, Gators have not made a third down all night. They're trying one here. Palmer over the middle has got a man open. Going to have to scramble to get the first, though. Close. Merritt made the tackle on Graham. Quarterback keeper Palmer got it. First down. Here comes a blitz. Look out. Palmer got away somehow. And now on the run, 
he got out near the 40-yard line. I don't know how he avoided that collision with Reggie Miles. Second down and six, Florida. Palmer fires complete to Jackson, trying to break a tackle, dives forward into Alabama territory, and it's a 14-yard pickup. Third down and eight. Last play of the quarter. Palmer fires incomplete. Brian Hogabrook had his hands on it, couldn't hold it. Uh, you got to make that play. The quarterback exchange continues for Alabama. It's Watts and a handoff to Alexander, and again that Florida rush defense draped all over him. Here's a dangerous spot, third and 11, inside your own 10. Watts, he's going to keep it. He's got some open field, and he's got a first down, Alabama. Waterbugs his way back to the near side, trying to get the corner. He's got it. Freddie Billings all the way. He's going to go. This will be an Alabama touchdown. 77 yards. They trail 22 to 7. Palmer. And it knocked down and it's intercepted. Jared Johnson. This is another Alabama touchdown. <laughs> Reggie Grimes uh, with a defensive lineman dream. Uh, a little bit of celebration causes a little bit longer extra point attempt. Ryan Flutner. This one from 35 yards away. Who needs it? Yeah, who needs it right now? We don't need it. Not only talking about how the SEC championship game has become a success, but much to the dismay of some, Roy, and we'll talk about it after this play, the BCS so far has been kind of a success. Palmer to throw, high and incomplete. And if you've never had a chance to come here, it is a great game to come to. As Roy said, all week long, the festivities are that way. Sean Alexander, he got around the corner that time. One of his best runs of the night. Second longest for him tonight. He had a 21-yarder earlier. That's for 15 from the Georgia Dome. Where it's first and 15 for the leading Alabama club. And they're going to be leading by more, maybe. McClinton. McClintock all the way down inside the 10. The fullbacks had some big runs, but none bigger than that one. Second down and goal. Here's the toss to Alexander. Dropped. At about the six-yard line, Anthony Mitchell made the hit. Tried to put points on the board. Has now made them from 29, 48, and 49. Delay of the game. And delay of game. Offense, We're back it up a little bit further off. here for Ryan. Five-yard penalty, still fourth down. Lugner now from 31. And whistle stop play again. He's going to follow through with it. Anyway. <laughs> hit a knuckleball up there. Got that through. one out of my system. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> now he's got his mulligan coming up here. <laughs> <laughs> he hit some big ones tonight, though. Yes, he did. Oh, dead boy. ball foul. False start against the offense. Movement in the offensive line prior to the snap. Well, that's hey, ten yard extra yards they've put they, on. They keep going back. They're going to put in to bring in the punt team. <laughs> then the tide has put the bite on the Gators since the opening couple of minutes. Uh, I missed this one. Still not really anything that's going to cause too much commotion on the Alabama sideline because with 5-31 remaining, they lead 28-7. A season of turmoil and emotional highs and lows is going to hit an emotional high here in about five minutes. Intercepted. Marcus Spencer. Down to about the 12 or 13-yard line, and that'll just about do it. Second down and five. John Alexander is going to have a touchdown. Carol and Curtis Alexander just saw their baby boy take it in from seven yards out. Now the ball loose, covered back at the 32. The Alabama fans are going to find themselves with Budweiser in about three and a half minutes. Chuck Marks brought down. 
As some of the Alabama backup players getting a chance to shine, Gary Barnes on the tackle. Uh, well, it's quarterback play, number one, and it's also wide receiver play. The receivers are not running proper routes, not running the right depths, and they're not dropping, not holding onto the ball, dropping balls to them. Florida has no choice but to punt. They get a good one. And it rolls all the way down inside the 10, down to about the 8-yard line. Oops. Coach, Coach got, he avoided one and yeah. got hit from behind. Uh, he knew that was coming. That was a double sneak attack there. Bohannon, and Bohannon down the sideline. And run out of bounds, or he might have been off to the races. I was just saying, June Jones did a great job in Hawaii, but I think the coach of the year has got to go to Frank Beamer at Virginia Tech. Well, he's job. done a Good remarkable job. job. The job that he's done up there. Well, now we might have some more whistles and penalties before this thing's over. 35 seconds. The Southeastern Conference football champion for 1999 is the Crimson Tide of Alabama. They win it in the Georgia Dome, and they win it handily. They trailed by seven. They came back and routed Florida 34 to seven to go to 10 and two on the season. And now the BCS awaits. Final score, Alabama 34, Florida 7. It's a happy time for Chris Samuels and Sean Alexander and company. They did do what everybody thought was the impossible. They beat Florida twice in the same season.